How do you plan a virtual conference? Since the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, everything has transferred from in-person to virtual. Most schools and jobs are now taking place entirely online. Another thing that's made a virtual switch are conferences. This change is making everyone have to think on their feet, asking new questions like, how do you plan a virtual conference? How should a virtual conference look? How do you shift what was supposed to be a physical event to a virtual event? I'm Alex with Jotform. The good news is there's still a lot of room for experimentation here. New strategies need to be put in place in order to engage a digital audience. So, when planning a virtual conference, here are three main areas to focus on, which will maximize your chances of hosting a successful event. First, consider the flexibility and limitations of hosting a virtual conference. When Perceptix, the employee survey and people analytics provider, had to cancel their annual innovation conference due to COVID-19, they decided to host the conference virtually. Rather than putting on a one-day conference online, they decided to break it up into a series of webinars that they'd broadcast bi-weekly. The Perceptix events manager, Joshua San Julian, says that realistically, there are two ways to do a virtual conference. You can emulate a physical conference with attendees watching live streams from their computer for six straight hours, or you can break it out into a series over a period of time. The great thing about virtual conferences is that they allow event organizers much more flexibility over physical conferences. They are not limited to a certain time or location. The only limits are that of technology. Take the time to rethink the format of your virtual conference instead of trying to mimic a physical conference. This will allow you to better accommodate your audience. Second, choose a platform that is right for you and your conference. The software that you use to host your virtual conference plays a huge role in what your conference will look like. With a growth of virtual conferences comes a growth of corresponding hosting platforms. Some of those platforms include On24, Run the World, and Whova. On24 is best suited for large organizations whose events are a big part of their sales cycle. They are an interactive, data-rich webinar and multimedia digital experience platform. They're best used for target marketing, lead qualification, and customer engagement. Run the World is a virtual conference platform with built-in tools for interactive live stream talks, discussions, and panels. One unique feature of the Run the World is their virtual cocktail party option. It uses an algorithm to connect attendees with each other based on questionnaires they fill out before the event. And finally, Whova. Whova is an award-winning video conference solution. They combine video hosting tools like YouTube, Zoom, and Google Meet and allow you to display your live streams in one place. There are also several interactive features, including live Q&A sessions, attendee networking, a discussion board, meeting matches, a visual exhibitor hall, and virtual meetups. Another useful video conference tool is Zoom. They have a feature called Zoom Webinar where you can host thousands of attendees that are view only. But using traditional Zoom meetings, you can utilize their breakout rooms, which allows you to put your attendees into smaller groups for private discussions. Another important step to creating your virtual conference is setting up a website with conference details and a registration form. Jotform has an incredibly useful online form builder where you can create registration forms, speaker application forms, payment forms, and attendee surveys. These forms and more are available at jotform.com. And the third step to hosting a successful virtual conference is to plan for your audience engagement. When putting on a virtual conference, the programming is similar to that of a physical conference. You need an overarching message to communicate, panelists and speakers to discuss their viewpoints, as well as supporting content like slideshows and videos. According to San Julian, virtual and physical conferences mainly differ in execution. He says that for the presenters, it's hard to do without attendee interaction. You're presenting on a screen and not getting a lot of instant feedback. The panelists are having a discussion, but they don't really get to feed off of the audience in the same way. Be sure to incorporate engagement tools into your conference, like Q&A, chat and polling, and let your audience know what tools you'll be using beforehand. All right, let's do a quick review. 
Virtual conferences need to be executed differently than physical conferences, though a lot of the material is the same. Consider the flexibility that you now have utilizing physical formats. Your conferences do not need to be bound to one place in time. You can break the conferences up into smaller sections to be completed over a longer period of time. This is why it's so important to understand your audience and accommodate them accordingly. Choosing the right technology can completely change the way that your conference looks. Tools like On24, Run the World, Whova, and Zoom are all great video conferencing tools with a variety of different features. Each one tailors to a different set of needs, so choose the one that will work best for you. And lastly, plan for audience engagement. You can do this with a Q&A session, encourage your audience to type responses into a chat, and you can pull your audience on different subjects. Planning out how your audience will engage with the conference ahead of time is a smart idea. This helps to ensure that your audience won't feel bored or disengaged during the conference. No matter how well you plan and prepare your virtual conference, it's important to know that it will never be the same as a physical conference, complete with social mingling and authentic interactions. So while virtual conferences do a good job of filling in the gap for now, they simply cannot replace what comes with in-person events. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video can help you effectively plan and host an awesome virtual conference. I'm Alex for Jotform. See ya.